Ogumba Dejo and I'm coming to you from the very, very plush Dorchester Hotel in Park Lane for the Africa Arts and Fashion Banquet. Now, as you can see, I'm dressed for the occasion. Can you, can you see the dress? This was designed by the lovely designer Moffa and trust me, you're going to see a lot of people dressed up, swagged up tonight because we're here to celebrate those up and coming designers. I can't wait to get inside because there's food, there is performances, there's a fashion show. It's going to be absolutely amazing and of course we've got a host of celebrities and dignitaries coming here to grace this occasion. So without further ado, let's see what's happening on the red carpet. Ooh, yeah. In a song, Jay Slick, Hypertech. Yeah. Yo, take it back, take it back, take it, take it back, take it, take it, take it back, take it back, take it back, take it, take it, take it back, take it back, back. Yo, it's crazy. The thing she said. I'm with the stunning Regina Jade, editor of New African Woman. How are you? I'm all right, very excited about tonight. You know, it's an initiative to support up and coming designers. Why do you think it's so important to give them that push into the fashion world, especially when it comes to African fashion? I think, you know, there's just so much talent in Africa which is never showcased and we don't actually uh, see it highlighted. And having an event like we are having today is really, really one way of, you know, showing the world what Africa has to offer. I think this evening is just, it's wonderful. It's an amazing initiative if you think of who's here. The founder, Princess um, Fifi Ajindu, I mean, she's done an amazing job. She's an amazing woman. I mean, she does so much, doesn't she? And she's a mum. I'm a mum with two and I just about manage. <laughs> We thought, apart from showcasing the enormous talented youth of Africa, we should have um, something that we're doing for the youth of Africa. So it's actually an aid of youth empowerment. I mean, we have high unemployment rates in Africa and we can't just sit back and watch. Yes, so that's what actually was born out of that urgent need and moral obligation to empower the young people of Africa. I've always believed in the vision for the Africa Fashion Week London and I've always believed, you know, I've added my support and you know last year I was showing as well and today we're showing and it's great, you know, to be part of it and to follow this dream and to encourage and to many people. It's just fabulous. It's a great vision. I mean, what, why do you think this event is so important, would you say? I think it's because it portrays a positive, exciting, vibrant and creative side of Africa, which not many people are familiar to seeing. And there's so much fantastic talent and, and youth and excitement happening about Africa right now. So what's wonderful is to see some of the creativity, the cutting edge talent that we have existing in Africa and show it to the rest of the world that, you know what, we are super fabulous. I think the African fashion scene is really, really growing. It's, you know, it wasn't as popular before but people are doing such great stuff and accessories the head wraps everything and because we're African everything is just brighter and more colorful and just bigger and bolder so it's great. Alessandra Berg it's so amazing meeting you how are you? I'm really good thank you real honor to be here and you look stunning by the way. Thank you so much thank you now are you into African fashion would you say? I'm into African fashion I'm also into African music by the way all the Afrobeats, the Wiz Kids that I'm... Listen, I'm a big fan of Dr. Sid, Wiz Kid, The Prince, just, just to name just a few. And I could go on forever, but I'll stop there because I'm a big fan, so... I'm pretty much with the lady who's responsible for all the models looking absolutely amazing, including myself, actually. <laughs> It, does. it looks gorgeous, it's absolutely gorgeous. We're so happy to be a part of it. It's been an amazing couple of days. I mean, why did Fashion Fair decide to get involved? Um, we spoke with Ron K a few months ago and we just absolutely wanted to be involved. All the amazing colors are brown and we specialize in women of color. And this is our 40th year, so it's a wonderful way to celebrate the brand and the amazing work of Africa Fashion Week London. What do you think tonight's going to be about? How do you think it's going to go down tonight? Um, I think it's going to go down well because um, first of all the organization is really good. I'm very much impressed, you know, from when I walked in. Um, I'm really looking forward to being entertained, you know, and um, hopefully this, the course of this event would um, be portrayed, you know. It's actually for a positive course, you know, so yeah. What would you say the world needs to know about Africa fashion? 
I think what they need to know is Africa has started telling its own stories. It's no longer a place that Western designers look for just inspiration of exotic climbs and animal print, but it's actually, there is 55 nations in Africa. They've all had their own culture, their own heritage, their own fabrics. So there's a lot of diversity and it's about time that we told that diversity in our own way. <laughs>
especially our Patreon, the Princess Fifi Jindu, for allowing what happened today to happen, for supporting us, for being a great inspiration. Thank you very much. The aim of Africa Strategy London that Bronkis started in 2011 was to create a platform for emerging African fashion designers and, of course, get the support from established designers like Mr. Adebayajos, Bronkis, and myself and obviously to Lazindi to also share that platform and lend their names so that emerging designers can get the international recognition and the buyer attention that they need and they require. And obviously the aim of tonight is to raise the funds that they so desperately need to turn that passion into a business. So thank you very much for supporting us, Oroka, and supporting our vision. So hopefully we'll see you in 2014 at Africa Fashion with London. It's been absolutely fantastic tonight. So many fantastic designers, amazing dancers. The CEO dancers really rocked the stage. People came in their drones to really support what was truly an amazing event. The first ever Africa Arts and Fashion Banquet here in the plush Dorchester Hotel. As you can hear, the music is still going on because after the show, there's the after party. So we're all going to go in and dance to some Dubanj and Wizkid. But make sure you come to Africa Fashion Week London next year so you won't miss out on the action. Goodbye. Sun and a right, my lean up, red ball drum.